right, so to conclude this video series, let's actually add our new cameras to our camera menu. That way we can just quickly create these two types of cameras really quickly whenever we need them for any of our other Unity projects. Okay, so let's hop over into Unity and get going. Okay, let's wrap up this video series on the follow camera stuff. And what we're going to do is we're going to add to the camera menu up here. So we're going to go up to, we're going to edit this script and make some more options to create different types of cameras up here, okay? So let's pop this open inside of Mono Develop here, and uh, I'm not going to go through the whole process here. Uh, if you want to see this whole process and the reasons why I set this up the way I did, I highly recommend watching the top-down camera series, or just take a look at the code and analyze it yourself, and you know, it's pretty easy to read. It's nothing complicated. So uh, just to wrap this up, what I'm going to do is create a new menu item, and we're going to go to the Indie Pixel forward slash cameras, forward slash. Uh, we're going to create the basic follow camera. Boom. All right, and then we need that static function to back that up. Void create basic follow camera. Now, you, it, does, it could be named pretty much whatever you want. So uh, in here, what I'm going to do is just literally copy and paste some of this stuff. So uh, I don't really want to go through the whole process here and all I really want to do is attach so all I really want to do is creating a game object so we're gonna say game object um, camera go so I can store it and attach or what we can do is automatically attach uh, with the new game object constructor give it a name so we're gonna call this basic underscore follow camera Okay, and then you'll notice that we can actually give it a bunch of components. All right, so we can say type of uh, IP basic follow camera. Boom, and then let's just select it. So we're going to say selection dot active game object equals camera geo. All right, so again, I'm just going to keep it really simple, but I would highly recommend watching the top down camera series because setting up your tools this way alleviates a lot of errors that users might make when they're going to set up or use your camera. It also automates the setup of the cameras too. So they don't necessarily need to remember to assign a target to it. So this one is going to be the advanced follow target. Okay. And I'll update all these functions too for the actual downloadable content. Um, I just want to kind of get through this. And there's no real reason to do this again, right? You can just read all that stuff. And all we need to do then is attach the IP. I'm having a hard time typing today. IP advanced. Did I not? I put it in my cameras. Advanced follow cameras. Let's see what happens here doesn't like that for some reason and let's get all these names correct okay okay let's see what it's complaining about if it ain't caught follow the camera that should be right it looks like a mono develop bug boom weird so Again, that is the reason why we, we want to go through and actually create something that checks for the camera components because you want to be able to have this thing automatically attach it, right? So we could do that really quickly. You could just keep adding more types. So we can say type of camera, right? And type of audio listener and type of, whoops. Listener. There we go. Type of uh, GUI layer. <clears throat> that should do it. So let's just copy all these guys. Boom. And that makes it really nice and easy for us to get these things all set up. So bam, there we go, new camera. 
All right, but I do like having the tool go and see if there's already a camera in the scene because Unity will complain if an audio listener is already in the scene. It, do it doesn't hurt your game, it just, there only needs to be one per scene, basically. Oh, we also need the flare layer. Forgot about that one. So let's just do that real quick, just for completeness. There we go. And now we're making new cameras. Auto magically. Not really magically. We all know why. Because we know how to program. All right. Let's just check to make sure the Vance follow camera works. So any pixel cameras. Boom. There you go. And all you have to do is just assign the target. And let's just turn off that camera. And there you go. We now have a follow camera. All ready to go. Super easy. We can use it for all of our games now. It's nice and contained. Super modular. All right. Hopefully that helped you guys out. Do let me know on YouTube or any of the other channels um, if you have any questions or concerns or maybe feedback. Maybe I, there's a better way to do it, and I just don't know. So thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon.